Hello everyone. This is Hayama no Kanta Katakana Ekaiwa. This time I'd like to show you about Snow and Tesla. Mainly from states. Uh, 1月のもうちょっと10日くらい前ですが、アメリカで大雪が降りました。Uh, その時に、uh, 雪とテスラの関係、相性を報じていました。やっぱりあの電気自動車のバッテリーは雪には弱いようですここで問題がたくさん起きていますアメリカでは自宅に電気自動車用のコンセントを作ってないところが多いようでスーパーチャージのステーションに行くようですがここで問題が起きます長い行列ができてそこに並ぶのに2時間バッテリーチャージをするのに2時間4時間以上かかってもで今度そこにバッテリー終わった車が発進しないというトラブルもあってもう身動きできない状態で、えー、テスラを捨てる人も目立ちました。うんステーションで車を諦めて家に帰る手段も困って、えー、大変テスラの評判が電気自動車の評判が落ちています、えー、これを機会にガソリン車やハイブリッド車に変えようかと検討している人も多いようですでバッテリーがフル充電できてもすぐには運転できずバッテリーを温めるのにまた4分かかったりチャージできても動かなかったりとかという問題もあるようですテスラ側に質問を投げかけても全然対応してくれないというのも問題になっています電気自動車と、えー、雪寒さの問題がクローズアップされていますトヨタやホンダや日産がすぐに EV 電気自動車に飛びつかなかったのはこの問題があったからというかこれを据えて電気自動車にすぐ飛びつかなかったのかもしれませんでは動画をご覧ください Please watch It really is a unique story. We got several calls from drivers stranded. These are Tesla drivers. So take a look. We're here in Oak Brook. We're hearing from several Tesla drivers that these charging stations, so these cars are all dead batteries. That car is stranded. Here comes another one hoping for something good to happen here. All of these vehicles right here, all of them have dead batteries because of those charging stations. They're not working. So these drivers came to charge their batteries in the cold, but These charging stations are not working in Evergreen Park. Same story. Take a look at that area right there near 95th and Western. We found several Tesla owners there stranded with dead batteries from the cold and not enough working charging stations at that location. We talked to a driver here in Oak Brook, where we are, who tried to call Tesla for help and nothing. Okay, yesterday I was here and、uh, there w a s just lines of cars, but there w a s only a couple charging working, but it seemed very disorganized. Like no one knew what to do. And a lot of people were just led here by their cars.、Okay. So they were abandoned basically. So some drivers had to find rides back home. Others brought another car here to wait for these stations to get up and running and basically to keep an eye on their vehicles. As always, in these extreme conditions, experts, experts advise if you don't have to drive, if you don't have to leave the house, then just don't. It's simply too dangerous to wait around for anything or even be outside for any exposed period of time. These 英語ではバッテリーが切れてるということをバッテリー is dead つまりバッテリーは死んでいるという表現をしますで、えー、以前ここに載せましたサイバートラックも大変なことになっていますやはりこれも雪には弱いということが実証されましたアケゲンインスノー A Tesla Cybertruck was stuck in snow while climbing a driveway in Montana with all terrain tires. Make sure you have proper tires on your vehicles so you don't get stuck in snow. We expect it better from the Cybertruck and the owner driving it. Tesla needs to offer a better options for tires, except they do, but only on Beast. A customer spending $80,000 to $120,000 should have a choice of tires for driving on snow with tires that are not designed to drive on snow, let alone deep snow. Honestly, 
90% of not getting stuck in the snow is learning to recognize, in snow you can't drive through, and we get the impression that a lot of new owners of four-wheel drive vehicles or big trucks get stuck. In Chicago, a little cold weather turned a supercharging station into an expensive junkyard. Oh, we got a bunch of dead robots out here. Dead robots. <laughs> dead Teslas packed the parking lot at this Tesla supercharging station in Oak Brook, a scene mirrored at other supercharging stations around the Chicago area. Man, this is crazy. It's, it's, it's a disaster. Seriously. With temperatures falling into the negative double digits, these charging ports have stopped charging, leaving many Tesla owners stranded here in long lines since Sunday. Oh, it's a Tesla graveyard. If you bought an electric car, you're praying for global warming. They say is that they're getting no help when they call Tesla for assistance. No response from Tesla. We have been suffering since yesterday uh, afternoon. These are unusually cold temperatures, but do you find this acceptable? No, not at all. Not really. I, I think it's less on the actual vehicle and more on the infrastructure. Tesla has not responded to our emails for comment, but an automobile expert we talked to said that the owners of all EVs should hit the battery precondition button on their car before attempting to charge it in extremely cold weather. ご視聴ありがとうございました、えー、注意喚起しているのは、えー、冬場はテスラは短いドライブにすること長距離のドライブはしないことする場合は、えー、バッテリーのチャージをまめにすることそしてバッテリーを 30% 以下にしないことなどなどいろんなあ注意が必要だということですねそうすると冬場はやはりハイブリッドか、えー、エンジン車の方が、えー強いようです日本ではまだそんなに EV 電気自動車はあの浸透してないので大丈夫かなとは思いますけれども、えー、雪国の方は慎重に運転しなければいけませんね。それではまた I see you later. Bye.